Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining me this morning. Hope you're having a blessed day so far. I would like to talk to you this morning about something I think we all have to deal with and something that we all um, probably struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and I believe this is probably one of the greatest enemies that you and I will ever face. You see, the most dangerous battleground on earth is it's, it's the human mind. Each day is a war zone. Satanic attacks must be met with God's help and every thought must be captured and yielded to Christ. The victory or the defeat of your Christian life hinges on our thought life. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 through 5 says it this way. Paul says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations in every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. You see, we all face different fiery darts, but we all fight the same enemy. The devil launches his arrows of lust, his arrows of fear and pride. Some of us have anxiety, and some of us deal with criticism and unbelief. And they can only be overcome by the divine resources. I encourage you to read these resources in, in uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and verses 10 through 20. Do not think for a minute that the only bad thoughts are immoral ones. You know, some of the most destructive thoughts are the ones that simply distract us from Christ or detour us into living in the realm of emotions. So many people right now are battling depression and anxiety and, and fear. Remember that the thoughts you cooperate with eventually will consume you and it will finally control your actions. So today, you will have to do battle with your thoughts in some way or form or fashion. But I want to give you this morning some practical thoughts and some practical ways maybe to prepare for the fight. Now these may seem like, seem like simple thoughts and, and things that... Um, are, are a giveaway, but they're important, and it's the best way that I can think of uh, for us to be able to be prepared for the fight, and maybe sometimes, maybe these just need to be reminders for us. Number one, we need to remember to always guard the gates. You see, ancient city walls were vital to safety and security, but however, if you left the gates open, the enemy could come right in the door. Now, you may erect walls around your life, but if you fail to guard the gates, you have left yourself wide open to the enemy. The eye gate and the ear gate must be guarded. The only thing worse than not having your sight or having your hearing is having them and wasting them. So be careful what you allow yourself to look at and listen to. It all influences your thinking. So whatever you watch on the television set, whatever you look at on Facebook, or whatever you look at on your TikTok or Instagram post, guard your eyes, guard your ears. Uh, don't don't fall to the to the national the 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 thought process that oh it was just one bad word and it really wasn't that bad of a word. That is something that is allowing oh, Satan doesn't need much space, just a simple crack. Just a little way into the doorway to be able to put that in there. So guard the gates, guard the gates. And then secondly, give every thought that you have over to God. So do not do not think that every thought is your own. Uh, to be sure that our flesh is wicked and our flesh is weak. However, many thoughts are suggested by the world around us and the tempter who is against us, which is Satan. So when a thought comes that does not honor the Lord, we must stop at that moment and give it to God. My dad used to say, I can't stop a bird from landing on my head, but I can stop him from building a nest there. I can't stop a thought from entering into my mind, but I can definitely stop myself from dwelling on it and allowing it to consume me. So uh, when those thoughts do come, and they will, when those thoughts do come, be sure to push it aside and replace it with, with uh, things of the Lord, a verse, a memory verse, Something that will give honor and praise and glory to God. So give every thought you have to God. And third and last, get your mind on good things. You see, it's not enough to cast out wicked thoughts if they are not replaced by the righteous ones. 
In fact, the more holy thoughts take up our concentration, the less room there will be for unholy ones. Uh, Christ crowds out other things. So listen to things like Christ honoring music, uh, read an edifying book, or have a conversation with a uh, spirit-filled friend. Maybe even meditate on scripture. But fill your mind with good things and do not accept thoughts. Choose them. And choose them carefully. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. And Brother Daniel went over there this in his message, uh, mentioned this verse in his message last Sunday. But Philippians 4, 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. So let me ask you today, are you under it today? Don't lose your ability to laugh, but choose to rejoice. Rehearse the goodness of God. And as you go through your day today, may God help you to fix your heart on the one who is always thinking about you. Let's close in prayer. Father, I thank you for this day. Lord, I thank you for your blessings. Father, we just pray now that you would just control our minds and our hearts. That, Father, a hedge of protection may be placed around us so that, Lord, the only thoughts we have are the thoughts of you. And the only thoughts that we have, Father, are thoughts that you have placed in our minds. Father, help us to choose the good thoughts. And, Father, help us to stay away from the things of this world. And, Father, as, as bad thoughts may come into our mind, may we quickly switch over and, and think about you. And, Father, think of the things that you want us. Lord, I pray that we may have your scriptures hidden in our hearts. So that, Father, in those moments of crisis, in those moments when those thoughts come, when those moments when those decisions are to be made, that, Father, we can think on your holy word and get our eyes and our hearts right with you. We love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning, and I hope you have a blessed day.